Oh, you're finally awake. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You've probably heard that phrase so many times by now. <laughs> and you're probably used to waking up tied to a chair or bed. It's got to be weird. <laughs> Ever since this infection, people have fallen for you, darling. Of course, none of them could be as good for you as I am. I mean, we actually have somewhat of a history. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's good to see you again, darling. Hmm? Untie you? <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. At least, not yet. You need to get adjusted here, and right now, I think you want to leave even though I love you. Yeah, I love you. Well, I guess you already knew that, after all. The whole world wants you. Luckily, I happen to have a secret underground bunker that no one can enter. Oh, darling, there's no need to be frightened. I know there are some scary sounds from the outside, but they can't get to you. Who's they? Well, there are millions outside this bunker. Pounding, screaming, and fighting each other, all to get to you. But I'll never let that happen. You're mine, and mine alone. I love you. I know it's kind of weird, me saying I love you. Oh, after all, I did reject you back in high school. I'm so sorry I did that, darling. I can't believe I was thinking. How could I reject you? You're the best person in the world. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I couldn't let you go, darling. I love you so much that I must keep you here forever. Although, I guess you've heard that a ton too. But unlike the others who captured you, I can make sure we are safe here. Forever. And even if I was willing to let you go, what would you do? There's millions of people outside this bunker tearing each other apart to get you for themselves. Wouldn't you rather be with someone you know than some random stranger? That's what I thought. You're safer here than anywhere else in the world. You don't know the safety mechanisms here. You see, no one can enter this room except me. There's a door with a passcode that only I know. After that door... There's another door that uses facial recognition to open, and it only responds to my face. After that, there's another door that needs a drop of my blood to open. No one is getting to you except for me, and anyone who tries to get to you will surely regret it. If someone fails to pass the door's test, then the entire bunker locks down forever and no way in or out. But that's okay. If it comes down to that, we have everything you need to survive and live peacefully here. You just wish things would go back to normal. Why? You wouldn't be here if things were normal. In fact, weren't you the one who wanted someone to be like this for you? I guess that was one person who is long gone by now. I suppose life has been very stressful for you. One lover after another kidnapping you out of love and then it all just happening over and over again. Seems a bit much for you to deal with. You're happy it's someone you know this time. Well, <laughs> I, I guess that's a good thing. Um... If you don't mind my asking, what's it been like? You know, being hunted down by all these people. Ah, sorry, sorry, I, I shouldn't remind you of all the trauma. You're not mad? You're used to it. That's terrible. 
I'm so glad I have you now. You won't have to worry about being taken away from me and being brought to another new place like you have for the past... What, like a year or something? You've lost track of time. Oh, you poor thing. Shh. It's okay, darling. You're going to be safe here. I promise. I know you've heard that before countless times, but... Think about all the safety features I have in this bunker. No one will ever try to hurt you again. I'm not one of the violent ones. Well, at least I'm not violent towards you, darling. Just those who try to get between us. I saw your scars. Oh, no, no, sh I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have reminded you. If I ever find those who did that to you, I'll give them some scars. I'll make sure they're scarred from head to toe. You won't have to worry about getting more scars. I can assure you that. Oh, I'd never hurt you, darling. I'm softer than most. I didn't hurt that many people to get to you. Only about a couple of thousand, but that was all done for you, my darling. I know you didn't ask, but I can't control that. We may be self-aware, or at least some of us are, but I actually love you, unlike the others who claim they love you. Of course I love you, darling. Um, no, it's not the infection telling me I love you. I learned to love you after you asked me out. I shouldn't have said no. We would be much happier together had I been smart and said yes. Oh, you're too sweet for your own good, darling. I'm so happy you forgive me for breaking your heart, and I promise to never break your heart again. You don't feel the same? I get it. You're confused because this is the first time you've experienced true love. All the others who tried and failed didn't love you like I do. I actually love you. And will do anything for you, my darling. Look, I I'm going to get some snacks for you. You're probably hungry. Here? Say, ah. Oh, please don't make me force feed you, darling. I thought you'd be used to this by now. There you go. You're being so good for me, darling. We will have so much fun together. Even if we have to spend the rest of our lives down here, it will all be worth it. The bunker is stocked with enough supplies to last us a couple of lifetimes. I love you. You will love me like I love you. One day, darling. I just know it.